How exciting! Modern Warfare 2 is finally ready for launch. I would say after the Season 1 Reloaded update, we are finally in the state that the game should have launched in. Now, this might sound really bitchy, really facetious, but hear me out. It is. Now look, I'm actually more okay with games launching incomplete than most people are. I'm kind of what you might call a cuck. I just stopped expecting games to launch in a completely finished state a long, long time ago. I expect missing features, broken things, bugs, whatever, balancing issues up the wazoo, and in shooters I just expect bad spawns and bad balance, just bad. I just expect bad. Am I right to? Maybe not. Should I hold them to a higher standard? Probably, but whatever. We get updates like this, and the Season 1 Reloaded update is now putting Modern Warfare 2 where I think it should have been at launch. We are now able to activate double XP tokens mid-match. We're able to see how much time is left on our tokens. We're able to save custom blueprints now. We're able to see what challenge we completed specifically when we complete one. There's now a group feature where you can just create a group and people can join it and then it's easier to invite people. It's gonna be great for streamers. Uh, teammate dots shouldn't appear above enemies as often anymore because when a teammate moves into proximity of an enemy's sightline, then it'll remove the teammate's dot which might make you confuse the teammate for an enemy, but it's better to confuse a teammate for an enemy than an enemy for a teammate, so great change there. Uh, and uh, then you have custom game improvements where it'll save your last used settings. Lost stat prevented actually prevents lost stat now. What I'm saying is, is when you join a game in progress, it says, hey, your lost stat was prevented. It actually wasn't the entire time. Oopsie doodles, now they fix that. There's also some locked challenges and camos, and those are now fixed. And overall, the game just feels a lot more complete now. I love this little polish that they added. We also have shipment now, so you can just go ahead and fuck yourself. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mind this. I'm not gonna be unhappy about this. Who would be unhappy about changes and fixes? Well, a lot of people are. And the reason is, is because this is how the game should have launched. These are some basic bare bone things that we had in not only the last three years of Call of Duty, but some of these things we've had since the start of Call of Duty. All in all, and in general, this is positive, but it does paint a bad picture. Why do we have to wait over a month to get these fixes? Well, I think Modern Warfare 2 is just generally too ambitious for Infinity Ward, and to be fair, I like the game we have, I like the core game we have, the gunplay, the visuals, the mechanics, the movement. I like the equipment usage, I like everything in this game really except its perk system and of course standing bugs and some balance issues, but overall I love this game, I like how ambitious it feels, even though it's clearly a sequel to MW2019, it's not going to recapture how new MW2019 felt, it's still its own thing and I'm actually, you know, I'm proud of the game in a lot of ways. It's just that pesky issue where Yes, it's ambitious as a sequel, and yes, it does a lot right, and yes, I enjoy so much of it on a base level, but that doesn't justify giving me a game that just wasn't fucking finished. Now, I, I will say, I will say, they're getting these fixes out fast. The game launched end of October, and now we are half the way through December, and we have more changes and fixes than I thought we would have by this point. I usually wait till January or February, so I'm kinda happy. Oh, there are new issues, unfortunately. Like with every big update for a AAA shooter, it added new issues, uh, mostly mostly game crashing. That's the big one I've been running into. Even just traditional multiplayer, I get a lot of game crashing, which is unfortunate. But um, other than that, like this is this is better. It's just, again, it's unacceptable. And it's, it's really unfortunate how many times us as the player base of Call of Duty are put in this position of being like, yay, this is unacceptable. It's that, I'm so glad you did this, why wasn't it done before, and why do I have to keep waiting for other barebone features? The only problem with that complaint that I see is that I think some people detract from all of the stuff that's in the game that we've never had before, and then they go, where's the stuff that we're used to having? And that's understandable. The sequel to another game or, you know, a game in a long-running annual franchise should have all of the features and the, and the quality of life changes of the previous games plus new stuff. I get that expectation. That's a good expectation to have. I just wish that when people complained, they would, you know, sort of balance that just a little bit better where it's like, this was really ambitious. They clearly, clearly backburnered barebone quality of life things to just get the game out on shelves. And now we're getting the barebones quality of life things now. I know it's more of the one booms patented. You guys are complaining and that's good, but do it better. But I, I, I'm sorry. I feel like the, the complaint should be this should have been in at launch, but 
you're adding it in quickly and I can see all the other new stuff you've added that I like quite a bit. But now I would say this is a good time to buy Modern Warfare 2 and just in time for the holidays. The game is now as feature rich as I think it should have been at launch. This is now a proper launch Call of Duty. And it honestly makes me think that Call of Duty games should just launch in mid-December because it feels like it's around this time that these sort of fixes and changes are implemented. I think Christmas morning for little Timmy who only asked for the new Call of Duty would just be so much more special if Call of Duty hadn't been out for a month and a half before. I mean, let's just launch Call of Duty on Christmas for fuck's sake. December 25th is Call of Duty Day. Let's declare it. It's been Jesus's birthday for too long. It's been about trees and cookies and Santa for too long. Let's make it Call of Duty Day and then we'll get, you know, a complete product and we'll celebrate it by putting up a mannequin with a ghillie suit and sticking a star on its head and we'll set out Doritos and Mountain Dew instead of milk and cookies and everyone will be happy. You see, this country needs to heal after all of the cultural scarring it's gone through and I think the best thing to do is to just turn Christmas into Call of Duty Day. Instead of singing Silent Night, we'll sing Carry On by Avenged Sevenfold and everyone will be that much happier. In all seriousness, Modern Warfare 2 is now a game I would recommend buying in terms of its feature selection. Now, don't go blaming me that it's crashing occasionally. I just, I just trust that they're gonna have that fixed by the end of the month, if not by the end of the weekend with how fast they're getting updates out. Now, the last thing I'm going to bitch about here is that Infinity Ward needs to communicate, oh wait, you know, that could be another nice little six minute rant video to pad my my video library. You know what? My next video will be about the fact that Infinity Ward needs to fucking communicate. I'll see you when I see you guys. Goodbye.